On today's menu, a recipe so easy to make, you can literally be out to lunch. A simple veggie, lo mein. Le ho ma, that's how it's going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This saucy noodle recipe is absolutely delicious and it's really easy to put together. Let's begin. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. Two pieces of garlic, thinly sliced. Chop three sticks of green onion into bite-sized sticks. Chop about half a carrot into thin matched sticks. about 100 grams of cabbage, shredded. These guys are fresh shiitake mushrooms that will add so much crazy umami to this noodle dish. And because these are fresh, it's okay to keep the stalks on there because they're soft enough to eat and enjoy. If you're using the dried shiitake mushrooms, make sure to remove the stalks because those ones are a little bit tough to eat. Slice about 60 grams of fresh shiitake mushrooms. Right, so tao mein and lo mein are kind of pretty similar. Tao is kind of like the sauteing of noodles and the lo mein roughly translates to like a mixing noodles. So the sauce and the lo mein is going to be a lot more substantial, a lot more robust and be the real star of the recipe. All these other veggies, you can really sub with whatever you like. And if you're making food for yourself, like I always say, it's completely up to you and it's your choice. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. That soy sauce will make up the kind of base of this sauce and add that salty umami. One teaspoon dark soy sauce. The dark soy sauce will be responsible for giving the noodles this really nice caramel color. It really kind of clings on to everything. It doesn't add too much of a saltiness on top of that soy sauce, so just a little bit goes a long way. One teaspoon black vinegar. The black vinegar will add this really nice tanginess and of course you can sub that out with any other vinegar you have on hand. One tablespoon plant-based oyster sauce. The plant-based oyster sauce, usually made with shiitake mushrooms, will further flavor the sauce with this crazy earthy umami. One and a half tablespoons hoisin sauce. The hoisin sauce is going to add a nice sweetness as well as this body to this sauce and it's going to help thicken the sauce to really grab onto those noodles. Splash of toasted sesame oil. One tablespoon chili oil. Then of course we have the flavored oil. So we have the toasted sesame oil, which will add this nice toasty fragrance and the chili oil will add even more aroma and a spicy smoky flavor. Stir to combine, then set aside. Boil the noodles for a minute less to package instructions. In this episode, I'm boiling about 250 grams of frozen udon noodles for about three minutes. Strain out the noodles, rinse with some water, and set it aside. Saute pan. Medium heat. One tablespoon avocado oil. Mushrooms and garlic. Saute for a couple of minutes. Green onions. Saute for a couple of minutes.
cabbage and carrots. Saute for 3 to 4 minutes. About 85 grams of bean sprouts. Noodles. Pour the sauce onto the noodles. Give the noodles a good stir, then it's done. Stirring the sauce into the noodles will allow it to absorb its delicious flavor. Plate the noodles. Sprinkle on some white sesame seeds. You can now serve up this delicious noodle dish with absolute confidence. Definitely no shortage of awesome noodle recipes. Look at that. Boy oh boy, that is just so delicious. Visually, this dish is just rustic. It's inviting. It has that beautiful, deep, earthy caramel color. And those noodles really just absorb all of that delicious sauce. There's that salty umami from the soy sauce. The mushrooms add this incredible earthiness, as well as a little bit of a chewy texture. Those mushrooms also act as almost like a sponge that absorbs that delicious sauce. The thinly shredded cabbage and the carrots just add this extraordinary crunchy freshness, a little sweetness from the carrots, and a little aroma from the green onions. The bean sprouts also add that freshness and that crisp bite. Those large slices of garlic just adds that extra pop of flavor as well. The savory sauce is just extraordinary and it's not too watery, has this perfect thick consistency. It's salty, it's sweet, has that little bit of a spicy smokiness. It's nice and glossy. It has this robustness and this extraordinary earthy flavor. This is one of those flexible recipes where you can really use any sort of noodle veggie combination that you just have on hand. It's simple, it's casual, but absolutely delicious. It's so wonderful to be able to make simple, casual, delicious dishes like this, which makes it really exciting to cook at home. If you love easy, delicious recipes like that, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the three Young Men Cooking Cookbooks. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out, or you can visit youngmencooking.com. You can also check out the Young Men Cooking merch or plant-based sushi masterclass. If you're not already subscribed with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so so you won't miss a single episode.